there! I am so, so glad that you could be here today. My name's Rich, the channel's called New Memphis, and Betrayal at House on the Hill is a board game that will always hold a special place in my heart. That's why I'm so excited that this week we are updating the miniatures from the second edition of the game, which I played the hell out of for basically the last decade. I love this game. My friends and I, pretty much any time we were together, would end up just playing this game for hours every time we were together. Sometimes multiple times when we were hanging out, and it was great. I, I, I have so many good memories. Um, so it's just really cool to be able to do a project like this. I actually repainted these models already years ago, but they were still in need of some work. Plus my painting has come a long way since then, and I am very, very excited to get them off these very boring gray bases. All right, I'm ready to get started. However, let me take just a moment to remind you to subscribe and to thank you for being here. You guys are what make this channel possible. So smash that subscribe button. I mean, it's right there. They, they make it so convenient for you. It's just a big red rectangular button. It's just right there. My God, I mean, I, I don't think they can make it any easier. But of course, as always, I do talk too much. Oof. So let's get right into the painting and brave the perils of the house on the hill. So, like I said before, I did paint these years ago, and I don't think the models themselves need much more than a few highlights. Let's be honest here, they're not exactly great sculpts to start out with. With that in mind, we'll be focusing mostly on the bases for this video. I decided to use some extra 25mm bases I had lying around. Some are from Games Workshop, and others I 3D printed myself. You'll never know the difference once they're painted. At this point, we should start asking ourselves, what can we do to make these models really interesting? Because again, the sculpts themselves are not great. I'd like to see if we can make them look like they're really on haunted hardwood. You know, you know, something straight out of the haunted mansion. And I think I know just the material to use. If there's one thing you'll be swimming in as a miniature painter, it's sprue. So this should be easy to copy if you want to update your own miniatures. I snipped out a lot of small sections and trimmed them down as smoothly as I could with a pair of hobbying shears. It turned out that as smoothly as I could wasn't that smooth at all, which is absolutely perfect for our haunted mansion. I attached these pieces to their bases with Tamiya plastic cement, and once everything had completely dried, I primed them in black. And then came back and gave them a blast of our oxide red spray paint just from the top. We'll need to go back and cover up the red on the bases, though, but with a little black paint, that won't take long. We'll mix together a thin glaze of mahogany brown and clear orange and apply that to the boards to make them more vibrant. Next, we'll add some washes. For most of them, we'll use mahogany brown and apply that to between half and maybe two thirds of all of the planks. We'll also mix together a wash of dark Prussian blue and another wash of purple and apply that to a few random boards as well. Here they are once everything was dry, looking very eclectic before we give them a dry brush of cork brown, which I failed to get on camera. Sorry about that. For our last big painting choice, we'll break out the clear orange once again. After getting a bit on our brush, we'll drag it from the ends of the boards to create a very quick, very easy wood finish. Mm. 
this effect will look a lot more realistic if you choose to use a if you choose to use a much more subdued brown in your painting. However, I mean, as far as New Memphis is concerned, that's so boring. We're gonna get crazy. Finally, with that done, we can snip out a few pins. Though I didn't end up pinning every single model for fear that the uh, hobby drill would destroy their feet. And once that's ready, we can get started snipping away these old bases once and for all. Just, just be careful of flying bits while you're doing it. Not bad at all! I think with a few final highlights, these will be ready to go. Here's one last reminder to subscribe, like the video if you like the video, and uh, leave a comment if you want to see it promoted in the algorithm. It always helps. You guys are the best. And like I said, you're the reason this channel can keep going. I... I talk too much. Let's get on to that big reveal. So, what are two things I like about this project and one thing that I want to improve on next time? That clear orange, while not exactly a realistic wood color, looked amazing, absolutely love it, would totally do it again, and will absolutely use it in my next project. The purple and blue washes also look great. I know I'm supposed to limit myself to two, but I'm adding those in as well. I also want to say that I'm really impressed that we were able to do this with nothing but some old sprue. I think it looks really, really good. Making sure to use a, a variety of different sizes, and oftentimes you are just flipping whether we are keeping the back or keeping the front side of the sprue since they're angled. Um, it added a lot of life to it, added a lot, made it really look, I keep saying vibrant, but made it look, I don't know, some sort of eclectic vibe, you know, having that mismatch. That weird way in which when you're painting, having a mismatch looks more realistic than everything being perfectly aligned, if that makes sense. It's very strange, but it's, it's, it's a real thing, I swear. As for something I want to do better next time, I... While I think the orange was beautiful and vibrant, I do wish I had taken my time with it a bit more. I think I could have created a much more realistic wood texture had I been a little slower in how I was dragging it. Uh, just a bit more careful in general. I'll definitely give that. I, I could have done better with it. And um, if I do this project again, or if I do a project like this again, that's something I will absolutely keep in mind and try to work on. But what did you guys think of the project? I'm excited to know. Let me know in the comment section. Again, thank you guys all for being here. You're the best. And um, I'll see you in the next one.